Next up, we have Nigeria versus Bangladesh. Hi, everyone. My Beauty with a Purpose project is about providing free medical health care to those who can't afford it. So um, there are over one billion people in the world today who don't have access to medical health. And being a medical laboratory scientist, I understand fully the importance of medical health, and especially to not just an individual, but then as a nation, how important it is. In my country, we've had insurgency attacks, and this has cost people their homes, their families, their farms, their source of livelihood. And in as much as I can't bring back all this has taken from them due to the gunshots or the, sorry, due to the shootings or due to the bomb attacks, I'm not, I can't give them back their homes, I can't give them back their families. But then I'm glad that in my only two way, I'm able to restore hope to them by providing free medical health care to them, which in the end creates at least a sustainable future for stability. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Janatul Firdososhi, proud representative of Bangladesh. From my childhood, I had a desire to do something for the children who are suffering from autism. I'm just 18 years old, so I did not get the opportunity to do that. After becoming Miss for Bangladesh, I have started visiting the schools of the special children. And because if I want to do something for them, first of all, I have to understand them. And what I understood that is they really very, very, very special. And I just could not stop my tears when I was looking at their face. I was thinking they are the most valuable things to their parents. And their parents are always very tense about the chancier future of their children. And uh, I have seen very uh, talented uh, autism children. Uh, so I would like to build a foundation for them, which will provide them scholarships. And uh, after finishing their study, we will give them job. Because I want to prove them they're special. They're not our burden. And uh, they're special children. I'm a normal child. And if I, can, uh, if I can have a smile of success in my face, why they can't have? So I want to see the smile on their face of success. And I want to prove, prove that they're special. And I want to let them know that they are not a burden. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Very well spoken. Over to you, Frankie. They were Barney, both excellent advocates of very different causes. The judges are ready with their decisions. And we're going to start with Stephanie. To congratulate the both of you, because both of you have very um, impressive projects that obviously need to be shared with the world, and I'm glad that you both did. Um, but I have to give this vote to Bangladesh. I think we all agree that this is a very tough decision because I've been going back and forth, back and forth, but I'd also vote for Miss Bangladesh. You know, I, I really don't like judging only because I think everybody does so well. Um, but my decision was made and my vote is also Bangladesh. But congratulations, Nigeria. Congratulations, Bangladesh. A full house for you. How do you feel? I'm feeling so happy and uh, I'm very happy that I could share my project with everyone and uh, judges are also supporting me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very grateful to everyone. And commiserations to you, Nigeria, but it's not the end of the road for you. There is another chance for you to make the final 30 on the night. Yes, um, I'm grateful for this opportunity for even making it to the top 20. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, ladies.